Hi guys, so welcome to this video and let's start with a happy Halloween box that my dad made for my son. Like on the fact that we now have a black kitten in the house and that was funny. So I wanted to see this and wish you a happy Halloween. Maybe the video will be out for Halloween, but I have no idea. So this is the first video in the mini series about X17 and X47 and I'll start with the X17 collection. Uh, I chose to change my angle again uh, so that you get a better sound and better image of the notebooks. I'm having uh, light issues because I don't know if you can hear the sound in the background but it's raining heavily and we have a lot of sun. Like There must be a rainbow somewhere around my house now. <laughs> If I can walk the rainbow, I'm going to be rich. <laughs> okay, so let's start. So in this one, uh, what we are going to do is have a quick look at everything I have here to show you so that you get an idea of the collection, of the variations of the different levers, and you will see all the different sizes. I was sent a lot of his notebooks and I bought the rest myself so I could have all the different sizes. And I will show, the, show them to you in comparison, for example, with the uh, Midori Passport. So, uh, without further ado, let's start with the babies I have in front of me. Let's start with the smallest one. This is the A7 Steno, like stenographer. So this one, as its name implies, and the fact that it belongs in the X17 Notes collection, is one that is meant to take notes. This is, I would call, the scribbler. It's the reason I started notebooks, actually. Because years and years ago, uh, as a severe insomniac, I had memory issues. And even the kids in my class, um, they had seen this and they were playing on this. So I had a little notebook like this, little pad. You know, the, the, the one you see in films, uh, the uh, Moleskine one, soft version Moleskine and you would open it and scribble scribble something and you knew the information was there and you could forget it without a qualm and that's the idea with this one so i still have memory issues and i still use these kinds of notebooks that's extremely pocketable so let me show you uh, the size in comparison with the midori um, passport so i know that people are going to complain about the fact that I say Midori, it's a traveler's notebook. Okay, I mean, it's even, it's even re meant there, traveler's notebook. The reason I call that Midori is that traveler's notebook, it's just full in your mouth. And I just call this Midori. Don't put nasty comments saying this is not a Midori, this is a traveler's notebook. I know, I know, I perfectly know. I like to call this Midori. So let's compare this with the passport size. So you see, it's even smaller and it's thinner. And this one only has one notebook, okay? So that's to give you an idea of what A7 in terms of size means. It's quite pocketable. So in this vertical version, of course you can use this in a, a landscape mode, but uh, in the vertical version, it's actually so nice, you know, to uh, move up from the Moleskin, black Moleskin notebook and use that kind of notebook, you know, to write your list, to go uh, shopping and everything. And you put that in your back pocket. For that reason, when I bought this one, I chose the color Brandy. This is a vegetable tanned Belgian leather. And this one doesn't have much grain, much tooth to it. It's actually quite smooth, but it's a nice little piece of lever that is quite alive when it comes to its color. So it's a reddish color like most browns. As you can see, the light plays with it. It takes on marks quite easily, which is something I like. And this will have a wonderful patina with time. So with something that you take out with you all the time, put it in your back pocket, put everywhere around you, take notes, scribble in, that's actually perfect. So in that case, my advice is to take that type of lever. 
that will age perfectly and that will uh, you will love them when they age typically so that's the reason i took out brandy so that is very simple no stitching no finish very simple piece of leather for this one now in a7 you also have the regular x17 notebook which comes with the stitching and a bit more finish ah, let me put that properly that's one of the disadvantages of those elastics we'll come back to this so uh this one i bought in a color i did not have and i wanted to try which was the castagna um uh, chestnut chestnut that is I, I was moving from the castagna which is the german word to the french one and then looking for the english one in my mind three languages too much for my poor brain <laughs> sorry this one has more grain it's actually uh a bit thicker, a bit uh, firmer as well, but I love when it has a bit of tooth to it, when you have a feel to it. So this one takes marks easily. This one it has the finish of the uh, vegetable tanned uh, notebooks in that collection, which is with the stitchings. So you can see this one takes marks a lot, which is something I like. If you do not like, then castagna may not be uh, the color for you. So you've got the stitching. You've got that little dent, which will allow that piece of elastic to stay at the same level. You will also find here the little dents to keep the uh, elastics at the right place. And then these little dents there to keep them in the right place the effect of this may not be that sensible from the outside it's actually more from the inside the um, uh, notebooks inside stay perfectly put now the difference you might say with this one is that you can put one two three and i see many people put way too many notebooks in one cover well it's taste dependent i suppose but the difference with this one is that everything will stay in its right due place uh, compared to the uh, cover, for example, which is something uh, that I prefer to the uh, Midori, actually. Always a very discreet logo. You will see when we uh, show you the OX47 high-end leather uh, version uh, that they are to be uh, so discreet as to completely, almost completely disappear. The stitching is the same color as the leather and inside you've got this little dent which is patented by X47 allowing the notebooks to be completely covered. If you didn't have that dent then it wouldn't cover them so perfectly. Well the effect is that you can actually get rid of this elastic should you want to now look at this one it's the perfect size so if you compare it to the passport it's actually smaller so if you want something that is very small that is absolutely perfect it's tiny and it's so cute actually it's very cute i love that size i think i might add a few in that size to my collection now the difference with the x47 collection is the absence of metal tubes the metal tubes have been replaced in this one uh, by those elastics. Now, those elastics are quite special. <clears throat> they had a very nice idea with this. Now, when you get the passport, the elastic is a simple elastic that you would use for your hair or hairbands, something like this. It's not high quality. As you can see, it gets used in with time what's nice is you can change them easily now these ones come with these o-shaped elastics this how lets elastic than your regular air band but they are strong and resistant the cognac which is at the bottom there i've had for years this thing resists the light of the sun despite being plastic that's the reason why is that because this was originally used uh, for joints in the automobile industry. 
car industry. So it's actually quite resistant. But as you can see, you can do with or you can do without. With is, it keeps everything quite close. So if you have things inserted inside, it will keep them inside. That's the point. Now you can actually use them without it as well. When you have a lever that's firm enough, like the Castagna. Not so much with other levers, but this one, which is fairly firm, you have no issues with it. So let's have a look at the other sizes, but this one is definitely cute. Remember, sometimes you can wonder what's the use of smaller sizes. They are the ones you use the most in the end, because I thought I wouldn't like the smaller ones. So let's have a look at the A6. Now, the A6 to me is the perfect transportable size if you want to transform a notebook into uh into a uh, what's the english word oh my god it's a simple word it's like the thing you put your credit cards in oh my god into your wallet wallet <laughs> i'm getting tired i have to drink a bit of coke ah, there you go so let's compare it again in size with the passport that is not a regular A6, that's an A6. That inference is not huge, but it gives you a greater comfort in terms of size. So when you think that A6 is too big for you compared to uh, the Midori uh, Passport, as you can see, there's not m a lot of difference, just a bit more room and it's practical. Okay, so let's start with this one. This one is special. It's the Texan collection. It's a fairly recent collection, uh, which is, again, uh, as you will see, it's quite frequent with this brand. They, uh, they listen to their customers a lot. And so they had a demand for notebooks that were not leather notebooks. So of course their collection and all their products are based on the fact that they are leather notebooks. But they also offer a notebook system which is complete. And so many people asked for that system, but without the lever because it's animals and they were against animal cruelty, which is something I totally understand. Though I really do love <laughs> the lever versions a lot more, but that is cellulose. That is, it feels like cardboard really. Uh, the company is actually working on uh, many vegetable materials like mushroom levers, like many things, many things uh, to offer something which is a bit nicer to the touch than that Texan. But to, um, um, to make it a little nicer due to the fact that it felt a bit like cardboard, uh, they uh, offered the whole, ra a whole range of colors. So. That is cellulose. It's actually quite strong and resistant. That's a nice thing. It resists water, it resists many, many things. And so to make that collection a bit sexier, it comes in different colors. So as you can see here, the stitching was added to get a nicer finish. And the stitching is the same color as the elastics. And so these come, let me show you, because I have a picture of all the Texans somewhere in the muster ball. So that's the muster ball. So the muster ball is a, a notebook that shows all their collection. And it's so sexy, so much sexier than a simple catalog. So here is the Texan. As you can see, it comes with many different colors. And it comes in two colors, the stone and the black. The black, as you can see, is definitely more graphite than black compared to the notebook to my left and it's definitely more gray um, graphite and so they come with all this different color of elastics and the stitching fits and so maybe at some point i will be showing you all these because it's actually a bit funny uh, it has it adds a bit more spice to this simple notebook as for the rest it comes with the same dance stitching. Oh, sorry for the call. It's my landline. Um, I don't know about you, but 
the landlines in, Fran in France are almost never used by friends or family. They are used for commercial purposes, so we never answer. So let's ignore it because it's commercial purpose. Really. So here you've got the little extremely small dent to show you where the elastic goes. I don't know if it's actually voluntary, like on the level ones, or if it's just the uh, elastics that have made it on in it. The little dents there. You've got the dent here as well to have the same effect. Though, as you can see, it's not as perfect as with the lever because it's stronger and more firmer. It comes with the standard white insert, lined insert, and graph insert. I'm not going to get into details about the inserts because I'm, I'm going to uh, shoot a video about inserts and you will see they they have changed the paper recently for the better good. Uh, they have a whole range of proposals uh, of possibilities in that range of in the range of inserts. You've got the choice between 88 different kinds of inserts, all in all. In all. But the standard is blank lined graph when you take three inserts, and it's blank and graph when you take two. So let's have a look at one which has two inserts. So I chose this one and as you can see, you might be a bit disappointed by the appearance of this one. This is the maroon. Maroon. So uh, let's call this brown, to put it simply. That is a very, very firm lever. Thick and firm. Very solid, very strong. That lever will be perfect. Uh, for the ones who want to uh, have a tough notebook. Tough, but with uh, something else. So the black fits perfectly on this. That's actually very nice. If you do not like the black elastics, you can ask for other colors, but it's personalization. But they do this, but you will have to call them. Here, the very discreet logo. As you can see on this one, we do not have the stitching. So it's a more simple form. So let me show you uh, the Morona. I chose this one because with Levy notebooks, you've got different situations. But first, you've got variations in the lever. I actually did a uh, Midori video that was about those variations. And because I wasn't happy with one variation that seemed a bit too strong, uh, in my opinion. Let's have a look at the Morona in the uh, lever presentation in the Mustabo. So that is the Mahon. It's smooth, it's shiny. Let me show you this one in comparison. The lever is still a bit dry. It's not as beautiful. That is lever that is patina. That is roll lever without the patina yet. So, if you take uh, the cognac, that's the kind of lever that's beautiful right from the start. And it's going to be even more beautiful with time. Now with that kind of lever, the Marona, you're looking for something strong, resistant, that will take marks, that will patina with time, and that will become beautiful with time. You will have to be patient with this one. So this one is a pocket. The rest is exactly the same. Pocket. For your credit cards, blank notebook, graph notebook, and the uh, so that is a pocket that is nice if you uh, want to put your ID cards, your uh, driving license. Here in France, we need that size. We actually need that size. My ID card is that size, the size of a postcard almost. So it comes with this. As you can see, it's signed, but it's really signed. It's not like a, an imprint. It's really signed by uh, Matthias Butner, the maker, the creator of X47, X17. Right, so this one, more simple. It's like more, uh, well, this is stronger, stronger one. Very special in their collection, quite apart from all the rest, in my opinion. But it's nice to see as well. So that's an A6. 
comes with two notebooks. So let me talk about this as well. Um, when you take a Midori, it comes with one insert, but you can add two, three inserts, but it's still the same cover. The cover is meant for one insert. When you buy an X17 notebook, it comes with one, two, three, four, sometimes I think five, inserts but you have to choose from the start how many inserts you will want because the leather cover is cut and prepared to that spe special size pas maintenant mon grand attends un quart d'heure un quart d'heure s'il te plaît j'ai pas fini sorry my boy wants to have a what hey va prendre à manger et tu montes le manger dans ta chambre so he's going to make noise in the background because he wants to eat. Because it's four o'clock. It's like he's got a clock in his brain. Okay, so as you see, this one cover is meant for two notebooks. This one is meant for three. Here you've got two dents, here you've got three dents. So you've got to choose right from the start what size you want. I like it with two, I like it with three, depending on what you want. I find that I usually need three notebooks and I use them on both sides, in both directions, which is like having six notebooks. So this one is two or four. But when I want to travel or go around using these pockets, that can be transformed into a wallet with your credit card, ID card, and that is perfect for a passport as well. So I find this actually more practical and nicer than the Midori. Let's move on to that little A6 Cognac. And for this one, I am going to show it to you in comparison with the A5 Cognac. So this one is brand new. I haven't used it to let it be brand new. This one uh, has a few, is a few years old. can't remember uh, how old, but it's a few years, maybe three, maybe five. I have no idea. I can't remember. And... This uh, cognac lever is absolutely gorgeous, grainy lever, right from the start. And as you see, it's more like honey from uh, on the left, and it's more like whiskey on the right. So this one ages beautifully. If you want a notebook that is absolutely gorgeous right from the start, this is the cognac. But with time, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous and it will change due to the uh, natural grease in your hands. Do not be afraid. It go, you will see on the other one, it grows absolutely beautiful. And you can see the reddish coming out. Brown leathers have red in them. So the reds will come out with time. That's what you want. If you expect that kind of leather to remain that kind of honey color, you will be disappointed all the time. So let's have a look at this baby. I love it. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Takes marks easily. Doesn't matter if you take this one out and take your hands on this, it will disappear with time. Right, focus please, camera. Very discreet logo. Stitching in the same tone on tone color inside. That, that's nice. That one is to me the perfect width, perfect firmness. Sometimes, you know, it's like the, uh, the reason why people love the Midori is because the lever has the perfect suppleness. Well, that's exactly what I find in this. Um, they do choose their levers well uh in uh, at x17 they do choose their lab as well so this one has no pockets i strongly advise taking the pockets as an option they are actually very nice to use right and this one as you can see you could almost use without the elastic on the side almost they will stay close the only reason the elastic is a nice option is when you put things inside, you put lots of stuff that could fall if you did this with your notebook. 
and as you can see when you have three notebooks then it's absolute it falls absolutely perfectly on the notebooks and you've got plenty of room to write now that's the thing with these notebooks plenty of room to write plenty of room in your notebooks look at that size that's huge for well, that size i mean now let's move on to the a5 you know when it comes to size as i told you i love the baby sizes because they are practical i love the a6 because it's so transportable and it can you can use it as a wallet but my favorite because i write a lot is the a5 i think it's the uh it's the best transportable option when you write a lot like when you want to take notes during a meeting or something during a conference or when you want to write things down or you want to write a journal that's at the uh, the perfect size so if for this one i have the cognac that we'll start with i have the mustable which i think is in the left bar, but i'm not sure if it's the left bar or the italian lever and i couldn't remember either <laughs> And I've got that graphite, which is graphite. And we'll have a look at these three. So this one is, again, in that Belgium uh, vegetable lever. So as you can see, compared to the other one, this one has taken the grease of my hands. As you can see as well, my hands tend to get in the back of the, of the notebook. So you get more red tones on the back and lighter tones at the top right i also use that little clip that they have that you can put a pen in in so that's how i use it and as you can see uh, the grease of my hands has come stronger on this side and so the reds come out and the patina is tr actually stronger on that side that is a gorgeous leather perfect for the a5 actually nicer on the a5 because it gets more supple with the width of the notebook than on the small one but it's nice on the small one as well now that is heavy i'm not going to lie if you take the three notebook option it's heavy and you can take it with one two three and four notebooks can't remember if there is the option for five but i'm sure about one two three four four is huge as well three right in between is heavy now if you want something that is as transportable as a small book so that's as heavy as a big book then uh, the cahier with just one is very nice if you want just to write in one notebook it's actually perfect very transportable very simple I like it with two or three, but usually when you take an A5 and you're not going to transport it, go for three. That's nice, three. So let me show you uh, how I use it. So this is the uh, dotted notebook, which I use to organize. And I've got pictures, pictures of my dog, pictures of myself, pictures of my cat, my husband. This one I write poems in, it's a lined one. And this one I draw and write poems in as well, which is the blank one. And as you could see, I also have the uh, pocket, which I, um, I keep for organizing in the first notebook. And I also use this little one, this little clip to see where I'm at. So that's the cognac vegetable lever. Now let's move on to the leffa. Leffa is short for leather fessa material. You've got this one here and this one there. And I will show you all the colors once my baby cat has stopped crying. Oh, I've got my baby cat on my knees. Oh, babies. And I will show you all the colors. So the leffa is a reconstructed leather from leather bits. Uh, it's actually kind of ecological because you use uh, bits of leathers that would have gone to waste. 
and it's actually a weird kind of leather because at first it's quite firm and then it becomes more supple with time um, you've got coated version and the uncoated version so uh, uncoated you have the graphite or graphite and the nature or nature this one is kind of black gray and the other one is uh, like ah, liege you know like the uh, um, oh can't remember the word but oh, whatever anyway you will see this in the video about the levers because I think I will have um, a piece of that lever to show you. So in the coated versions, uh, you have plenty of colors. So if you want uh, colors that are not natural leather colors, like black or browns or cognacs, uh, in the X17 collection, you will go for the leather. And many people do because it's what they sell the most. People love the leather and the colors. It's cheaper too. So let's have a look at these because in the Musterbohr, so that's funny. The Musterbohr is a presentation, it's like a catalog, but they made it out of the leather. So you see, it's very supple, very nice, but it's also thick. It keeps, you know, it keeps its place. But it's supple very nice so the first one is a presentation of all their inserts and as you can see we'll have plenty of things to talk about in another video in this one you've got a it's like a presentation of all the materials material musta so here you see you've got the uh, vegetable uh, levers from belgium the red the black that black, we'll talk about that. Black is amazing. The cognac, the brandy, which you have seen, the castagna and the marona, which you have seen uh, previously in the video. You've got the two Italian levers in red and black. They have plenty more colors in the X47 collection, but in this one, you get it in red and black. Beautiful levers as well. Here is the Leffa Graphite and Nature. The textures are different but they are so nice i love the graphite and here comes the well the texan in the black and the stone colors or gray and it comes the leffa in vice white kelp which would be like gold orange or hot or red magenta pink violet which you have here blau the blue one Turkish Grün, Turkish Grün, which you know, I think uh, uh, turquoise green. The Grün, which is this one, beautiful color, very young, very dynamic. And the black, which must be nice. So this one here is the green one. And as you can see, that's what, that's how the A5 with two notebooks would look like. It's actually light enough to be transportable. It's like a cahier, frankly. Uh, with 300 books, it's quite heavy, but with this size, it's actually quite nice. So that's the leffa. Very nice, supple, but this one is special. Now this one. Uh, when I reviewed the cognac, uh, they told me about this one and they suggested they could send me one and i said no i'm not interested interested in that material so my cat wants to come she wants to come on my knees because there's a storm brewing out outside and she doesn't like it okay let's come back to this so i said no not interested i'm not into that kind of material oh boy was i wrong how stupid can I be sometimes because that is a very strange material but very nice one so let's have a look at this because that is a very modern material it looks pretty modern and it's actually so nice when you have it in your hands I mean with leather it's always the same you've got the looks but then you've got the feel the touch of it and that's 
what's important in this one. So let's have a look at that graphite. So this one is the same leather material that we've just seen, but it's non-coated, so it's raw. And it's raw. Uh, look at this. You've got the incrustations. You've got little uh, brown dots, white dots, gray dots. Looks beautiful. When you touch it, it's quite homogeneous, quite smooth. Little texture, but it feels like, you know, for those who have a Kindle from Amazon, any reader, it's that absolutely gorgeous plastic to the touch. Well, that's extremely, extremely pleasant to the touch. It's actually a bit firm. It looks like plastic and it smells like leather. It smells like leather. Amazing. Amazing. I like this. This is modern. This is 21st century leather. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's ecological because it's reconstructed leather from waste products of the leather industry. Beautiful. And look inside. It's the same. That I will show you as well. I've got this version and the one in the 4X47 steel. That in the steel version, to me, is their most modern product. Very nice. Comes with the white, the line, and the graph as the standard. Same thing here. It's got the dent. And look, it stays flat. And look, that's something about their notebooks. It stays flat. How many of your leather notebooks can do that? That is due to that little dent. Because to them, it's really important uh, that it stays flat. You know, there's something with X47, when it was created, they wanted notebooks that were nice looking, fully functional and practical. So they looked at every annoying bit of note leather notebooks and they found a solution to it. And that's it. Look at this. Perfect. Perfect. Any page. The notebooks, the uh, elastic system, the dance inside, everything is thought out, so you get that result. Love it. Love this one. Definitely how stupid was I to refuse this the first time. Now let's move on to other formats. Let's put the big one on the other side and let's talk about this one. So that is the A5 Plus Square. That's what they call it and it's a landscape format. It's an A5, but let's have a look at... Well, let's take the green one so you can see better. So that is the A5. And the A5 landscape is a bit higher and larger. The idea with this one, and I showed you this uh, system when I made the Rodeo video, is to have a tool that's practical when you are, have your notes and you want to uh, put them on your computer. For example, you go to a conference or you go to a meeting, you take notes and you have to put them um, onto your computer. And you take this one, open it up, and you've got, well, that's exactly how it's set. Uh, that's my exact desk setting. That, the keyboard, and the computer screen. And it's perfect because it sits perfectly open. Of course, you no longer have the elastic and the dent because it's too large and that would bend the notebook. You only get the elastics to hold the notebooks perfectly well. That's one thing. You know, the notebooks inside, they are held perfectly. And now we have this shiny, smooth Italian leather. Comes in black, comes in red. Now that one, let me tell you something. When I was a child, because I'm now more than 40 years old, but as a child, I remember when we seldom went to a shoe shop to buy shoes, because my parents had very little money, so that was exceptional. But when you have growing feet like youngsters, then you end up buying shoes. And we would get, get inside the shop and there would be that leather smell because there was less plastic at the time. Let's be honest, 
No, it smells like petrol products, petrol byproducts. But when you went into a shoe shop at that time, it smelled like leather. This notebook, it smells like that type of leather. So let's have a look at this. Homogeneous. The color is pressed on it with high temperatures so that it fixes it. It removes, the process removes the little scars. So you end up with something that is shiny and homogeneous like this. Let's have a look at the full size of it. So this time the logo has an addition of Made in Germany. You find the black on black stitching and the lever is firm, is thin, is firm, but with enough suppleness as to be nice to the touch. And when you use a notebook, look at this, it's gorgeous, very nice. No, I'm not a black leather person, but this one looks nice. And you will see uh, in the X47 video, they have another black leather, which is crazy nice, absolutely gorgeous. The A5 landscape is a very nice format, but it's a working tool. So that is a working tool. Let's have a look at the other working tool, in my opinion, which is the A4 Plus. A4 Plus. Now, as a French person, uh, we are used to the A4 size because of school. I have no idea what it is in your place, but I'm not certain it's exactly the same. That is Leffa Violet. As you can see, uh, the Leffa offers you the most homogeneous leather in the collection. Let's compare it with the uh, Cognac, for example. Lots of grain, lots of variations. The other one has no grain, it's perfectly smooth and no, uh, very homogeneous. You've got a stronger elastic, of course, for that very <laughs> large size. A4 Plus means it's a little bit larger than the A4, so it can accommodate. A4 sizes of notebooks. And let's open it up. So that's a huge piece of leather. The leather is firm at first. It's firm and solid. It will become more supple with time. Comes with a huge A4 pocket. Oh yeah, that's my cat in the background. She wants something, obviously. Food, probably. There's a little... Oh, let me show you, there was that in the uh, A5 as well. There's a little credit card holder, which you can put wherever you want, you decide. And you get a huge white blank. You've got another A4 on that pocket. Oh, she can't stop complaining. Qu'est-ce que j'ai rouge? Qu'est-ce que j'ai monsieur rouge? T'as faim? Oh. Sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes in uh, graph, but this time the 5x5 five five graph, not the 2.5x2.5 graph that you see in the other versions. That is huge. That is huge. That is heavy huge. Okay, that one. That's portable if you're a teacher. I, as a teacher, use that kind of thing. I will be using it for work. I have another one which is even heavier that I use in class because it stays on my desk. But that's heavy, definitely. But that's beautiful. And with time, it's going to be as supple as this one. Very nice, very nice. That you cannot do in this one. Yeah, yeah, you can, but you have to, uh, you need strength, to put more strength into it. That is beautiful. It's nice that they offer that kind of size when you want to move uh, your, let's say, leisure notebooks into your workplace. I can vouch for it because I do. And that's actually very, very nice. Now that kind of piece you bring to work and people ask you, wow, where did you get that? That's actually nicer than a regular notebook. Of course it is nicer. Of course, definitely. Okay, so I'm not petting my cat. She wanted to be petted. Nice little girl. Barely six months old. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the sizes in reverse mode. That's the A4 Plus working tool. That's the A5 landscape 
as you can see, was half the size of that A4. And that's actually how it came to be. And uh, they told me that one day they received an A4 size and it was absolutely gorgeous, but it was too big working with it. So they had the idea to cut it. And there it was. And you can see, <laughs> that's how it came to be. Now the A5, two notebooks, pretty transportable. The A5, graphite color, so modern. The Cognac, and three notebooks, less transportable, but so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's put it there. Let's try to make a pyramid of them. <laughs> I don't have the right angle for this. Now, the Cognac, young baby Cognac and old Cognac in A6 format. A6 and three notebooks, perfect size in my opinion. The Marona, would take time to love, but it's actually, it will become gorgeous leather. The Texan, for the vegan animal lovers in you. But my opinion on this is that uh, if you eat the animal, then it would be a waste to lose the skin. Now, if you only raise the animal for the skin, uh-uh. That's a no, no for me. Absolutely not. My opinion on this is that we have to respect the animals. We are eating them. Then we have to use the whole body of the animal. If you raise an animal uh, like mink, no. No, no, because you don't eat it. Now the baby sizes. The castagne, gorgeous leather like the cognac. In that baby format, baby format is so cute. And the little, I call it the scribbler. It's not the name. I love to call it the scribbler in the brandy, beautiful brandy uh, leather. My opinion is try the different sizes. The small ones are really practical, transportable. These ones are intermediary. These ones are more for the inside. These ones are for work. When it comes to the leathers, the graphite is wonderfully modern, but my love goes for the vegetable uh, leathers from Belgium. The Italian leather is gorgeous as well, but then it's a question of feeling. Can I finish my video without you mewing? Yeah. She wants to be petted. You can hear the kisses. And maybe you can see the little beast. There she is, little beast. You want to have a look at the camera? Look at the camera. You're so beautiful. She is beautiful. And so that's it for this one. So what can you expect from the other videos? In the next one, we are going to discover the X47 steel, which is kind of in between the X47 and the X17 collection. Then in the following videos, we're going to have a look at the different levers, at the inserts. And once you've seen them all, then you can have a complete idea of what you're into with X17, X47. And thank you for watching until the end. Please don't forget either to subscribe to my channel because you'll have plenty of content to come and plenty of content to watch. Don't forget to put a thumbs up because that way uh, more people can see uh, the video. Because I do not advertise, I have no Facebook dedicated page, I have no Instagram, and I do not, do not post uh, advert for my channel anywhere because I don't like it when I'm in groups, specialized groups, so I do not do it. But I need you to put the thumbs up so that more people can watch the video. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.